all of the domestic struggle that that was full of strikes and picket lines and boycotts and pilgrimages and fasts. And what it did was that it catapulted my father and the movement onto the national and international stage. And since that time, much has been accomplished, but we're mindful that so much more remains to be done. You know, an important part of my father's legacy is the continuing work of his movement, the daily work that Arturo and the UFW do to improve workers' lives, but also the daily work of the foundation where we go out and we build and we expand in a large portfolio of affordable housing offering decent housing to tens of thousands of needy men and women throughout the Southwest. We have our Spanish language radio station, Radio Campesina, that reaches nearly 500,000 listeners in, in three Western states. And then we work with over 40 school districts to help them prepare students and to strengthen the proficiency in English language arts and mathematics so that they're prepared for the future. And, and tonight we have some of the uh, some of the board members and administrators of a couple of districts that we work with. If our friends from the Parlier and the McFarland Unified School District would stand up, I'd like to be recognized. Thank you very much. And then finally, there's the work of the National Chavez Center, which works to promote and to ensure that my father's legacy continues to inspire people not just farm workers and Latinos, but people of all walks of life. And we do this through a special partnership with the National Park Service. And so, while we're proud of that daily work, we know that it wouldn't be possible without your support and your presence here tonight enables us to continue to do that work. So thank you all very much for being here tonight. But, you know, again, the reason that we're here tonight is to recognize our distinguished honorees people whose lives and labor really embody my father's legacy, from the arts to public service, from sports to advocacy. In their own ways, these, the contributions of these extraordinary individuals reflect the commitment and values of my father. And that's why we're so happy to honor them here this evening. And so now it's my privilege to introduce the first of tonight's honorees, the Los Angeles City Council President, Herb Besson. Herb has spent his entire career in public service championing civil rights. As Speaker of the Assembly of the State of California, he pushed through landmark legislation giving farm workers new collective bargaining rights so they could bargain with strength with their employers. He also shepherded precedent-setting legislation in the areas of education, and the environment, and health care. He listens, he leads, and he makes a difference. Let's take a look at the video. Foundation. You know, if there was ever a public service that that work really mirrors my father's life and work his values, it's Herb West. And so, Herb, please come up and present uh, and receive this uh, this Caesar Chavez Legacy Award. Thank you, thank you, Paul. I think, uh, what was it, Garawan Growers had something to do with my video. My video not coming across. I want to congratulate the other awardees for the night, for tonight, for all of the phenomenal things that you've done. I also want to acknowledge the sponsors of tonight's dinner and thank you very much. I want the people that are here today to know that I am truly honored to receive uh, this award. If I knew it was going to be this heavy, already I would have lifted weights for a while so that I wouldn't get a hernia carrying us around. But I want you to know that I'm really honored to receive this. I, I was having a conversation with Artie Rodriguez almost 20 years ago, and we were talking about uh, the UFW and the foundation, and he said that this is not a union, this is a movement. And it is a movement. It's a group of individuals that just want maybe a little better chance that their 
parents had so that they can make sure that their children had a better chance. And so whenever you're in need of support, all you have to do is to look to your right and I will be standing beside each and every one of you. And lastly, I will, yeah, I'll take it. Give me a mercy applause. And about a month ago, one of the growers sent a hideous mailer out about me in the middle, right at the end of the campaign, where I really couldn't respond. Within minutes, the people in this room came to my aid and rescue. And I want you to know, as long as I live, I will never ever forget that. Yes, we can. Si se puede. Thank you so much.